hello everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so in my today's video we are going to deal with the question paper model question paper and the part b that is chemistry part so in the first video we have dealt with the physics part if you have not watched that video the link will be provided into the description box so before starting my video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new video so here they have given four alternatives okay among which you have to choose the correct alternative and complete your answer okay so the 14th question almost 13 questions we are covered in the previous video now let us start with the 14th question compound among the following is so you all know that what is compound compound means mixture of two or more components okay mixing when two or more components are mixed together we call it as compound okay so this is hydrogen purely hydrogen this is oxygen this is also purely um, uh, what non metal okay this is gold which is a metal here water is given which is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen so what is compound water is compound so you can write c water this is compound we'll move on to the next question okay next 15th question is this is the major gaseous component of the atmosphere or air so which is the major component into the atmosphere is nothing but c nitrogen nitrogen our air uh, our atmosphere covers up to 78% of nitrogen okay whereas 21 percentage of our atmosphere is covered with oxygen and the remaining 1 percent whatever is left that is the other gases which is present into the atmosphere okay so next question wearing cotton clothes during summer is good why so we have to tell that why we have to wear the cotton clothes during summer so the reason you can see because cotton being a good absorber of water you know that cotton is a good absorber of water and it helps in the absorb absorption of the sweat and exposing it to the atmosphere for easy evaporation so there is the chances of easy evaporation in case of cotton and it also absorbs the sweat from our body so we have to wear the cotton clothes during summer okay next question is suspension is unstable why so why the suspension is unstable we need to uh, give the reason for that suspension is unstable because the solute particles settle down when the suspension is left undisturbed okay so we all know that what is suspension suspension means all the solute particles will be moving throughout the mixture okay and when the particular mixture is kept for some time then we can say that that particular mixture whatever the particles are moving into that suspension will settle down if we are keeping it undisturbed okay so next question what are isotopes isotopes are the atoms of same element which have same atomic number but different mass number okay so there are many isotopes so what is isotope means it is the atoms okay which are having the same element atoms of same element which has same atomic number okay it is having same atomic number but different mass number so basic example of this is carbon okay carbon 12 and carbon 14 it is having the same atomic number that is 6 and 6 but the mass number is different okay this is the proper which we are having but this one carbon 14 is an isotope of carbon 12 okay so the next question how acid rain is formed okay when the compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide when the compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide gets mixed with the atmospheric air and get reacted to water and oxygen and other chemicals to form more acidic so this sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide mixed with the atmospheric air okay and in the atmospheric air it reacts with water and oxygen and also with the other chemicals to make it acidic these chemicals are making it very acidic this phenomenon is known as acid rain okay we'll move on to the next one 
ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ओके मेल्टिंग पॉइंट द टेम्परेचर एट विच द सॉलिड मेल्ट टू बिकम अ लिक्विड इज नोन एज मेल्टिंग पॉइंट वेन द सॉलिड मेल्ट द टेम्परेचर the uh, the heat at which the solid melts to turn into a liquid that particular point is known as particular temperature is known as melting point mention the melting point of ice melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius below 0 degree celsius the water freezes and at 0 degree celsius the uh, the ice becomes liquid okay or in the degree celsius we can say 0 degree celsius or in kelvin if you write we can write 273 kelvin or 273.16 kelvin okay next explain the proposals of thomson model of an atom i hope you are remembered you have remembered with the thomson model of an atom okay where uh, the electrons were embedded into it like the seeds of watermelon he has told you okay so here the proposals are given an atom consists of positively charged sphere and the electrons are embedded into it so like this is like this okay this atom is this atom is like a charged sphere positively charged sphere as you can see positive charge sphere and the electrons are like this inside like the uh, seeds of watermelon he has explained okay the negative and positive charged are equal in magnitude there is no positive no negative charge because they both are having same magnitude means same value so the atom is electrically neutral so what he said is this whole atom is neutral it is not having any positive charge any negative charge because the whatever the positive and negative charges are inside this both cancels each other and this atoms become completely neutral this was the proposals given by the thomson in his model of an atom okay next one part of oxygen cycle in nature is given below which processes are represented by 1 2 3 and 4 so this is atmospheric oxygen okay so what is the use of this atmospheric oxygen we use it for the respiration okay then for the to prepare carbon dioxide since we are respiring we are leaving out carbon dioxide okay so in this carbon dioxide also we are using the what uh, this atmospheric oxygen okay and in case of water also as well as for the preparation of synthesis then whatever the left carbon dioxide is there this carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants and for the process of photosynthesis okay then through the combustion for the again for the use of combustion we are using we are using this atmospheric uh, oxygen and after recycling means after the combustion process whatever the oxygen is left it is again moved on to the atmospheric oxygen okay to the atmosphere it is moved on to the atmosphere okay these are the four processes which are taking place in the oxygen cycle so the next question you can see draw the arrangement of apparatus showing the sublimation of ammonium chloride okay so this is the picture of an apparatus which is showing the uh, sublimation of ammonium chloride as you can see okay this is nothing but an inverted funnel which is kept inverted okay to the mouth of this a uh, cotton is plugged okay so that nothing must come out of this then this is nothing but mixture of ammonium chloride and salt which is kept in a plate like structure known as china dish it is called as china dish and this is just a stool okay and this is the burner which is providing the flame to this mixture and heating after heating this mixture what happens the ammonium chloride vapors of ammonium chloride are moving out okay and that ammonium chloride gets solidified okay gets struck to the parts of this funnel okay this is nothing but the sublimation of ammonium chloride without getting it into the liquid state this ammonium solid ammonium chloride is turned out into the gas okay this is nothing but this process is called as sublimation and this arrangement shows us the sublimation of ammonium chloride 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑब्जर्व द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ टू लिक्विड्स ऑफ अ मिक्सचर गिवन इन द बिलो टेबल सो लिक्विड ए बॉइल्स एट सेवेंटी एट डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड लिक्विड बी बॉइल्स एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस विच मेथड डू यू सजेस्ट टू सपरेट दिस लिक्विड एंड वाई सो बोथ दिस मिक्सचर आर मिक्सड अप ऑलरेडी ओके एंड वी नीड टू शो द सजेस्ट वी नीड टू सजेस्ट द सपरेटिंग मेथड फॉर दिस लिक्विड This liquids can be separated by fractional distillation. I hope you have seen the fractional distillation picture at least, okay, to know what is fractional distillation, okay? Because why we are using fractional distillation? Because you can see the temperatures, okay? There is no more difference into the temperature. The difference between these two temperature is less than Twenty five degrees Celsius. Okay, so when it is less than twenty five degrees Celsius, we need to use fractional distillation method. Okay, to separate both the liquids. Next, the electronic configuration of an element is one s two, two s two, two p six. By this only you can understand one s two, two s two, two p six, which is this element. Okay, so just see, this is six plus two is eight, eight plus two is ten. So the element which is having atomic number as 10 is nothing but neon okay neon is having atomic number as 10 write the schematic write the schematic diagram its atomic structure and name of an element we need to draw the diagram of that element its atomic structure you can see the atomic structure and name the element okay how many electrons are present in k shell and l shell we also have to tell this okay now this is the diagram of the neon okay this ne is nothing but the symbol of neon and this first circle is nothing but the k shell which shows two electrons as you can see this is two electrons for the first shell then you can see here it is separated by a comma here and this two is given that is 2s2 and 2p6 2s2 2p6 together you are going to get as 8 okay in the second shell this is nothing but l shell it carries up to 8 electrons okay it is it can carry up to 8 electrons so here you can see 6 plus 2 is 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 electrons okay now we need to write the following name the elements so 1s2 2s2 2p6 is nothing but neon how many electrons are present in k and l shell K shell there are two electrons that is the first shell is K shell there are two electrons present and in the L shell it is having two plus six that is eight electrons okay we'll move to the next question okay so the last part last question of chemistry part find out the molecular mass of calcium chloride and potassium carbonate so we should know the formula for calcium chloride so you can see here calcium is ca okay chloride is cl okay and this is having cl cl is having minus and this is having positive charge okay when this both are crossly multiplied so we can write this as cacl2 okay this two comes here and this one goes here no need of mentioning this one here so just cacl2 you have to write so this is calcium chloride so the next one is potassium carbonate potassium can be written as k and carbonate is co3 okay now this potassium is having the valency as 1 and this is having the valency as 2 so after cross multiplication what we are getting is k2 co3 this co3 will be as it is it is carried it is carried with the charge one we can say okay so this is k2 it is cross multiplied k2 co3 okay so just now we came to know the formulas of this two so let us try let us find out the molecular mass of this already they have given us the atomic masses that is ca calcium is 40 c carbon is 12 cl is 35.5 o is 16 and k is 39 so let us solve here calcium chloride 
so let us find out the molecular mass of calcium chloride it is CaCl2 Ca is how many time only one time so 1 into Ca plus Cl is how many times two times so 2 into Cl directly multiply here you can see the values just substitute Ca is 40 and Cl is 35.5 so 1 into 40 is 40 plus 2 into 35.5 is 71 71 plus 40 is 111 unit okay similarly you can see calcium carbonate k2co3 calcium uh, sorry potassium is two times so 2 into k plus carbon is one time so 1 into c plus oxygen is three times so 3 into o just substitute the values k is 39 c is 12 and o is 16 just substitute 39 into 2 is 78 12 ones are 12 plus 16 threes are 48 after adding all this you are getting 138 unit so i hope you have understood with this video so the third part of this model paper will be into my next video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be back soon with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you